Today I'm going to be looking at how to go from this little screen on your Modi X or Montage onto this bigger screen here. It's very simple to do, it's very easy and affordable. And I'll also go over some of the reasons why you would want to do something like extend your screen like this. Let's get right into it, okay? Before we go any further, let me just remind you to jam that subscribe button and get on board with the Synths and Guitars channel. We got a lot of tricks, tips, hacks, and more coming your way, so make sure you don't miss out, and all your support is greatly appreciated. Now let's get back to that hack. So before we go over this little hack, I'm calling it a hack because it's really not something that you'll read about in any of the manuals that go with the Montage or Modi X. I've looked for this information extensively I've done a lot of research into how this can be done and should be done and there's really no kind of official way of doing this uh, you you do know that it can be done because in the Yamaha videos they have this capability and you see it where they're extending the screen onto another screen a bigger screen what I've done is I've taken a little device of which I will uh, be showing you in a, in a second it's a small little box that takes the USB out and it goes into this device and you can put it onto any other screen. So what I've done is I've dusted off this old VGA monitor that I had lying around, which a lot of people do. You have one in your closet probably you're not using. It's got a VGA adapter on it and you plug this device into the VGA on your screen here it goes into the box and it comes and takes your modiac screen or montage screen and it pushes it out and extends the screen very simply so this is the device right here it's by pluggable there are a couple different versions that are available this is the one that i have found will work and as you can see here's the results i've taken a old monitor it's got VGA connection on it and dragged it out of my closet everyone kinda has one of these and if not you can get them for really really cheap if you don't have a monitor lying around this device will push it out to DVI VGA and HDMI so whatever the adapter is this covers all of them you have to get this particular one there's another youtuber who will not be named who is suggesting one that just does VGA which to me is very limiting because of the amount of HDMI that we have out today and DVI and I also have an old HDMI uh, monitor that I could plug this into if I wanted to so this one we're talking about the pluggable USB 2.0 UGA it's called so you want to make sure it says UGA and the link is in the description. I bought this off of Amazon very cheaply. It was less than $50 and it's, it's a small little box. Here's the, the little device here. It comes with a couple of adapters and one of them is this one that goes to VGA. Uh, the, the device itself has USB on one side. It comes with the cable that plugs into there. On the other side, the side that says pluggable is a DVI out and inside this box is the other adapter and that allows you to go from the DVI into HDMI and that's why I am encouraging anyone who wants to do something like this hack to uh, use this particular one, the one that says UGA on it because it has all these options. It has HDMI, VGA, and DVI all in one. And on the other side, it's, it's a USB. Now this is USB 2.0, and it definitely works with the Modi X that I have here. Just a word of caution, again, this is a hack, and it's not any kind of official thing that you'll read about in any official Yamaha uh, manual or anything like that. This is just something I've done a lot of research on and I've found that it does work. And you do in fact see that Yamaha themselves do this sort of technology. I don't know if it's this exact piece here, but they do something like this when they do their tutorials on YouTube and whatnot. So the way you get into it is 
down here in the back where you would usually put your USB stick, where you would load your libraries. That's where you put this. So here's the connector that comes with this box. It's just regular USB, okay? Very simple. And it goes down here where you would put your USB stick. The other end goes into where it says display link. This one, I'm putting it onto this VGA monitor, this old school VGA monitor. And you just plug that in there. The adapter goes and it cinches down just like a computer monitor. And then the other side goes to your monitor. So that's just the cable that goes to the monitor. So plugged, plugged everything up. USB over here, we got the VGA. Turn on the power and the powering up procedure goes on. You'll see Modi X, it's warming up, it's booting and it goes on. You'll see it up here and there we go. So once it boots, it pushes the signal right on to your monitor. And there is very little latency. As you can see when I go through, let's look at extend your screen. You now have extended your screen to a bigger screen it gives you a heads up display and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to use this one thing it's easier to make videos like this because I don't need to have uh, my hand over the screen and I found also the screen on the actual keyboard uh, can can get a lot of glare and this doesn't um, I'm right now filming the actual screen so the, you, you can see that this is on a little Dell it's an old VGA monitor that I dragged out from the basement and it was all dusty and it, but it works but one of the reasons I, why I would do this is because this screen has a heads-up display so a lot of times uh, when I'm working on the instrument instead of hunching over this tiny screen here I would rather come up here and do a lot of my work here and it's easier on the eyes too uh, it really comes in handy when, when doing videos like this as well and there are a host of other reasons why you would want to have a large display maybe you are uh, teaching uh, in a class or online in some other example and would want to have yourself a, a bigger display than the one on here. So this pushes it out to everyone else who wants to see it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little look into how to extend your Modiex or montage screen with this little tiny box and get more out of your instrument and see the screen on a much bigger surface, giving a heads up display. Put down there in the comments why you would want to do something like this or if you even think this is uh, useful or helpful. And once again, thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next video.